Sevgili. Sway in the morning, shave for five. Interesting story. You know, I remember going to Little Rock. Arkansas? Yeah. Long time ago, maybe a 10 years ago, we went down there. Um, I can't remember what I was down. I was hosting an event, and okay. um, it was like a fashion show. I don't know why I was hosting a fashion show. <laughs> It must have been the money. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Let's keep it 100. Um, and then while we were down there, I was like, yo, we should do a seminar because I'm not sure how many young artists out there have access to people like us. At that time, Reggie Hawkins, who was doing um, programming here at Sirius XM, came down. Rich Nice came down. Um, Angela Yee from The Breakfast Club came down and myself and we moderated a, a discussion and took questions on independent artists who wanted to know how can they break being from um, Little Rock, Arkansas. And I remember it being in a conundrum, so to speak, because I really couldn't answer that question um, because I didn't know at that time anybody who had did it. My normal advice would be watch what they did to become successful <laughs> and just follow what they did. Now, if I go to Little Rock, I have someone to reference. If they say, how do I break out of this marketplace sway? I'll say, well, look at Carrie Foe and see what she did and follow her lead. She's put out project after project and been very consistent in finding herself as an artist. And this latest project, um, I think she touched on a pulse within herself um, uh, that we have yet to hear. Uh, and each each project she's done, even the primary project that she did uh, last, which I really enjoyed, um, I find out something new about her. But this project, Cry for Help, you find out a whole lot about her. Carrie Foe, welcome her to the show, ladies hey! and gentlemen. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Let's crack a leg. Welcome. Carrie, what up with you? Uh, nothing. Just doing this uh this press thing. This press it's thing. Tight. It's tight. You like the press stuff? You like talking uh, about you? Mm, not not really, but I mean I'll do it. It's it's kind of fun. It's, yeah, not to get the hang of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Little Rock. Um, uh, shit. That's all I got to say. I, mean, I, <laughs> Little, I love it. I love Little, Little Rock. Little Rock is nice. When I was out, people were so hospitable. I couldn't find the scene back then. What what was the scene like for you? Um. Well, the scene for me was. I mean, like growing up, we had. Um, like it's funny because this is like random, but uh, my biological father was like one of the popping rappers, like back in the day, and I was adopted, okay. so I didn't need, so I didn't find out he was my dad. So I was like twenty years old. Really? And yeah, his name was uh, his name is Ball Jones, and he uh. had like this really popping ass song called Crushing. And like, if you're from Little Rock, you know that song. Crushing? Yeah. C R U S H I N? Nah, K. K. R U S H I N. Crushing. Yes, crushing. Was he a crip or something? Right, or a smoker. Why did he spell it with a C? I, I wouldn't know. I oh. wouldn't know. Okay, let me hear that. Hold on. That's your daddy? Okay. Let's see if he got bars. It's your daddy right here. Mm -hmm. You get excited when you hear his voice? I mean, I I don't really know him for real. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know him for real. But, I mean, like, this is, I mean, this is where I come from. So. Let me hear it for a second, okay? You ain't seen crush it till you seen what Paul Jones did. I bought the bike the other night and crushed my whole grill. Put my feelings in my shoe when I crush my whole chick. And the ones that talking about they love me crushing them quick. X-rays on my arms when I crushed out both ribs. Uh. A trophy truck I crushing out a paint job switch. Uh. I crushed out the <laughs> know like I'm a big pimp. What's and his name? Ball Jones? Ball Jones, yeah. Crushed for dumb shit. Crushed is the only thing. Yo, your daddy hard. <laughs> carry four, carry four. All right, let's go well, carry four. Have you met him yet, though? Um, I haven't met him in person, but I've talked to him on the phone and like we've exchanged on Facebook, like here and there. Uh huh. And he just like tells me he's proud of me and stuff, so it's tight. Okay. Yeah. Any collaborations, y'all? You think? Mm, probably not. Why not? He got a cool voice. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you not ready for that? <laughs> nah, nah. We ain't. We ain't got there yet. Uh, your your projects. Uh, from I went back and was listening to uh, sophisticated ratchet ratchetness. ratchetness. Uh, the, the city limits. I wanted to See, go. See, they don't know. They, yeah. And that's crazy because you really did some real research because a lot of people don't even know. Oh yeah. About that. Yeah. That that. Well, I I like to um 
I always find it because I felt like from primary to this project, I heard a lot of growth in you. Mm -hmm. And so I always like to go back and see who people were in the beginning. That was like six, seven years ago when Mm -hmm. City Limits came out. Yeah. Um, From your own perspective, though, how have you perceived yourself evolving as an artist from then to now in terms of what you talk about? Um, I think like back then I was like trying to just like be this cool, confident like oh, I'm so I'm like kind of just braggadocious, being mm-hmm. like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm the shit, da da da. And then like as I got older, I like started uh, really just like analyzing myself a little bit more and just kind of like being more self aware. I think that's mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-hmm. As I got older, I got more self aware, and I was like, all right, well, let's just start putting it into music because this is what I know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, but from- that that could be hard too, though, right? Putting it putting it to music, like how? Yeah, I mean, it can be, but. For me, it's it's extremely therapeutic. Okay. Like, it's like, oh, I got this off my chest. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, we moving forward. What else can I learn about myself? It's kind of like self mastery in real time. If uh-huh. that makes sense. Self mastery in real time. Mm-hmm. Damn, Carrie Fo, you dropping bombs right <laughs> now, man. Wait, hold up. We got somebody on the line. Chris, what up? Chris in the Bay Area. Chris, Chris what up? What's up? What's popping? What's popping? What's up, Sweet Morning? Heather B. What's up, y'all? What's up, hey, Carrie? Family. Hey. What up? What up with you? Hey, so uh, I'm out here in the Bay Area. I'm originally from Little Rock, though. And Carrie, I've been listening to your stuff for a long time. That's right. I just want to say that being from Little Rock, I am so proud of you. And also, I I didn't know Ball Jones should pop. Yeah. Yeah, Ball Jones. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Neither did she. <laughs> what you say, so neither did she. She, she, she found out. She took her twenty years to figure that one out. <laughs> hey, did you dance to his track before you knew it was Yo, him? Yo, when I was a kid, everybody knew that song. It's like crush this, crush that. Well, we all we all used to sing that song. Yeah. So when I found out, I was like, what? <laughs> Like your mama didn't say, you know that's your daddy. Well, I was adopted. Oh, that's right. So then when I when I found my real mom, she was like, you know who your daddy is? And I was like, no. She's like, Ball Jones. I was like, oh, damn, that's crazy. That's so crazy. I felt like it was kind of like, I don't know, not even like some, I guess, destiny type shit. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, it was like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. Like, this is in your nature. So. Well, wow. So, Chris, you know the song, right? Yeah, I know the song. All right, and did you you know her new album, her new EP rather is um is coming out this coming Friday? Out on the eight. Yeah, on, damn shit. Okay, you know, he you know. know. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. Hey man, Little Rock doll, I Arkansas support, hog. You I already know. Anybody from Little Rock? Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, all right, that's what's up, man. Hey, good to meet you, uh, bro. You a citizen? Sway in the morning, raise it back. Okay, all right, raise it back. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, being from Little Rock, um, how did they take? Cause your your style is so uh, unique and original. Uh, it don't matter where what part of the country you're from, you're gonna stand out. Uh, was it always like that? I mean, how yeah. did they take to it in Little Rock early on? Uh, it, I I used to be looked at like kind of weird at mm-hmm. first, but then people were just like, oh, that's that's just Carrie. Like mm-hmm. that's just how she is. Mm-hmm. Like, even with, like my family, like after a while, they was like, oh, this is this is really who she is, and they just like embraced it. And I think it it kind of inspires like a lot of like my family to just live out loud and just be themselves live out loud mm-hmm. I, I like love that it. wow okay shit i'm living out loud that's my new <laughs> shit right there Can mike I... muse you gotta start living out loud all day okay all right <laughs> who are some of your favorite style icons because you could run up in anyone's closet right now and just go ham who would it be um i really love like i really love like I say I'm like a, a mix between like Debbie Harry and like Santi Gold, mm. mm. and then I I love like I love Badu's style of course like she's she's like wild. Um, who else? Rihanna always has great style, right? Very avant garde. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's that's kind of it. Mm-hmm, that yeah. works. Carrie Fall is here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, You've already been featured on Insecure. I know you've talked about that a million times. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But what an amazing way to be discovered, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, um, I, I know Childish Gambino has already jumped on the track with mm-hmm. you. I know you talked about that a million That's times. Dope. But what an amazing person <laughs> to be featured yeah, with, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, you got a track with Currency on this project. Yeah. Well, it seemed like Currency might have just been somebody you loved growing up and had yeah. a chance. How, how did that happen? Wh- him and Wiz. Uh, like Big Sean, Chip the Ripper, uh-huh. like Chip all, the Ripper. Oh, Chip wow. the Ripper, gift raps. Yeah, gift raps. Him yeah. and Chuck English. What uh-huh. that project is crazy. Uh huh. But yeah, like that whole like era of like I guess 
cool weed rapper rap mm -hmm. that was in high school that was all i listened to that was all you listened to so when i listen to songs like uh um, medicated on this on this project and and, and and you talk about medicating through the ups and downs mm -hmm. is is how did you medicate did was it with weed or how did you i mean yeah it's weed alcohol mm -hmm. a little bit of sex you know okay. trying to escape from what i felt like um I need. I really just needed to just like face the things that was bothering me the most, um, and I couldn't afford a therapist uh -huh. <laughs> at the yeah. time. So it's like I gotta be productive in the way that I'm going about um, figuring these things out, and uh -huh. the only way I could I feel like I could do it was music. Do music. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like the only way the music could complement your energy and your thoughts is by producing it yourself? Or oh, I didn't. I didn't produce um, all of these, but I had like a very like I was very much so involved in like uh -huh. what I wanted to what, what I wanted things to kind of sound like. Uh huh. Um. So, yeah. I mean, like, well, uh, nighttime. I co-produced it with Black Party, uh -huh. and I actually have Amanda Lee Steinberg. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The actress playing violin on it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's so dope. She's so dope. Yeah. And so yeah, like I met her through Steve Lacey, and I just hit her up and was like, "Hey, I know you play violin. Mm -hmm. uh, would you come play?" She's like, "Yeah, of course." And just Steve came Lacey from um the internet, uh, the internet right? Mm -hmm. My daughter has the biggest crush on him. I love Steve. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that, Carrie? I mean, live out loud. Live out loud. Live out loud. Okay, what am I supposed to do about that? Live her life, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I, whatever, Carrie. Anyways, you ain't a you, you, you ain't a mother. So go, go ahead. You're right, you're okay, right. Okay, Not, Carrie. Okay. Um, going back to finding out that uh, who your biological parents were, that can have either a positive or a negative effect on you and your music. Mm -hmm. Did it? free you to feel like okay now that i know the, the truth that i can make beautiful music now or did it make you go kind of into a darker space it made me go into a darker space it made me really like i went down a rabbit hole of just like analyzing myself and picking myself apart and trying to figure out okay well you do this so why do you do this and so i mean it, at first it was very much so like i felt kind of trapped in a way uh by like circumstance but then i was like okay well if you just figure this out you can you can move forward with your life and just learn to accept like life as it is because i mean look obviously i'm doing something right so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just gotta you know keep that in mind that carry fo uh k-a-r-i-f-a-u-x i'm sorry were you were um taken in by relatives or just a completely completely different family different family wow so what age did you go back and find your mom and, and well she actually okay so it was i was like adopted when i was two months old mm -hmm. and then uh when i was like 20 i remember getting a phone call being like hey we found your real brother because i have a brother shout out to my brother hey eli um, what up, Eli? <laughs> Eli, what it do? <laughs> I have a real brother, and um, they were like, oh, uh, we found him through Facebook or something. So then we connected. I saw him. I was like, oh, my God, we look just alike. And then uh, through him, I met my mom and, like, her side of the family, and then she told me who my dad was. So it's just been, like, me trying to figure out uh, every how to, like, get adjusted to this right. whole new, you know, part of myself that I didn't really know about. So I give you props, though, sis, for Thank doing you. that. Because a lot of people kind of don't want to know because they're afraid sometimes to go down that rabbit hole. Yeah. But, some, but you have to go down it sometimes just to figure some things out and some things you do have to pick apart. So yeah. I applaud your strength. You yeah. know, it's not... I mean, I'm, sound... I'm just glad I made it out on the right. other side. Well, okay. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it doesn't sound like something easy to do. No, nah, it, it's not. And I'm still processing it very much so, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, look, this is life, and it's not. It doesn't necessarily get easier, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Especially if you try to sweep shit under the rug, it's yeah. like it's just gonna keep coming back. Yeah. It's like, oh, of what about this? You you left that there, like yeah. it, it don't get easier. We, you you just react different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When yeah. you get more, you just react different. That's yeah. all. You gotta live it out loud. Live it out loud. You gotta live sweater. it out loud. <laughs> shit, where did you get that from? Did you make that up, or some people yeah. say that? I mean, I just be hearing old folks talk. It's like talking about live it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Live your life. Live out loud. Live out loud. Well, speaking so. of living out loud, Carrie, I, I find you so fascinating, and I can't wait to hear your album and hear more of your music. I'm just curious about, like, how did you define living out loud?
out for you because like you look at your style is super dope eclectic it's your own identity you look at the musicians who you collaborated with from Amanda Love who's completely different than Charles mm-hmm. Gambino who's completely different from Currency and so how did you find your artistic zone and lane was it a book that you read did you like a certain type of genre like nah, movies just, like what informs you I'm just like a very uh emotional person so I just I I'm learning to like not just make decisions based off of my emotions, but for the most part, it's just like, oh, this feels right. I'm going to do that. Or like, I like this person. Like, we're going to work with them. We're going to see how this like works out. So it's just kind of like me just being kind of intuitive about like the people that I work with and how things, they just kind of come together. I don't really try to force things to happen. If they happen, mm-hmm. then they, they do. You get free spirit. Mm-hmm. Very much so. Live out loud, my muse. Uh, yeah. All right. That's okay. Awesome. The EP is called Cry for Help. Um, this Friday, it'll be out. I'm going to play the song with Currency in the air. Uh, Carrie Foe is here. You want to speak with 888-742-3345. Call us. You're in Currency. Carrie Foe. Give out your social media. Spell it for him. Uh, it's K-A-R-I-F-A-U-X. We got T on the line from Little Rock. What up, T? Hey, T, what's good? T, T was popping with you, T. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What it do? Man, I want, man, I want to congratulate. Well, first of all, good morning to y'all. Good morning, yes, way. Um, man, I want to congratulate Carrie for making it from Little Rock. Because actually, from Little Rock and being from the Ball Jones, Doc Hollow, Project Dog, Tell Mo and them era, man, it's so hard to make it out of Little Rock. Little Rock is like a big crab pot as they call it, it everybody is. pulling each other down not working together uh-huh. and you know i've i've been i've been wanting to like put put my own money together to try to help help artists get known uh you know away from little rock and stuff but it, it was hard trying to do my craft and and do that also because i you know i'm trying to pursue my craft and being a professional bass fisherman and fishing these tournaments and stuff so i had to i had to back off and you know Pursue that. Wait, wait, stop, wait. stop, 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 stop. Carrie, I'm sorry I'm about to interject into your interview right here. You said you're trying to be a professional bass fisherman? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, man, oh, we no. fish. I fish. You oh, fish, oh, oh, shit. Meet your new best friend, Carrie. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no, I'm not a cancer. Yeah. She I'm might a, be Cancer Moon. I'm a Gemini with Scorpio Moon. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. You fish? Yeah. What you... T, join us in this conversation. <laughs> the interview about to take a pivot right now. <laughs> what do you fish? You bass? Uh, what do you I fish? Mean, yeah, right, well, I fish bass. Fish. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Let Carrie go first, T, oh, not no, you, T. Well, no, like uh, my, my ex-boyfriend actually taught me how to fish. So, like, we just used to go and just fish at, like, this apartment complex that had this big, this big-ass pond, and we would just go out there, catch it, throw it back in there. What 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 for your relate? Did you find that interesting for your relationship? Like for a guy who was like, uh, "Hey, let's go fishing." Did did it help y'all bond early on? It taught me patience. It taught me patience. So people wonder how where I got my patience from, <laughs> being up here, you know, for so many years through fishing. Because my grandparents took me fishing. Um, damn shit! So you used to catch fish. You didn't have a problem with it? Yeah. You cut them, cut, cook them, and clean them. Cut them, clean well, them, cook he, them. So we would. I remember we caught one. <laughs> we caught. Uh, oh no, my nephew had caught one, and uh, so then my mom was like, "Oh, do, uh, y'all want to fillet this fish?" And he went out there and he cut it up. He cut the head off and filleted the fish and everything. And I watched him do it, and I was like, Ew, "That's crazy." But. <laughs> yeah, you messed up a keeper right there. And he man, you know, so I don't know what you did we're wrong. Fri- we're friends. No, <laughs> me and we're friends. We're very much our friends. That but. ain't black party you talking about, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. He fish. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Where is he? You mean where is he? Yeah, I want to hang she out with him. She's supposed to know. <laughs> yeah, find him. I'm not. I'm not. Su- I'm not supposed to know where he is. Exactly. <laughs> it's, not, it's none of my business. None, none of, of your business. It's none of my business. Okay, damn it. No wonder. So he's a producer as well, right? Yeah. We came up. We came up together. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I know the story, but mm-hmm. I didn't know y'all fished together. Shit. Yeah, we pretty much grew. Like we pretty much kind of grew up to like the last maybe 11 or so years. We've uh-huh. just been like working on music because before we dated, we were friends. Yeah. And we've just always, like, through the Facebook era, he used to send me beats. Like, I remember he flipped uh, Carrie Hil- like um, Carrie Hilson, like, Miss Carrie Baby. Uh-huh. And he, like, flipped it in a beat and, like, sent it to me on Facebook. He was like, hey, look, I made this. And I was like, oh, this is tight. <laughs> so, yeah. It's dope, man. Cool cat, man. Y'all still cool, too. Y'all homies, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's beautiful, man. Hey, T, uh, hit me on um, T. T, you there? Yes, sir. I'm hey, here. Hey, DM me on um, Instagram at Real Swell. I'm about to load back my Instagram to talk to you, homie. <laughs> 
<laughs> matter of fact, get matter of fact, get his number. I'm gonna put you on hold. All right. Um, uh, carry forwards here. I'm sorry. I got. I got. I got <laughs> sidetracked. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Fishing will do that to you. It will do it. <laughs> um, you got a song called "Leave Me Alone" mm-hmm. on, on, on this project that um, I, I thought about you, Heather, when I when I heard that the hook. Sound like my theme song. Can, like can, can you can you say the hook? You don't have to rap it, but can you say how the hook goes? Do you remember? Uh, don't like the hook. Yeah. Don't wait. Don't hear my line. Don't call my phone. Don't waste my time. Leave me alone. Mm-hmm. That's, that's pretty much how the beat right there, right? <laughs> yeah. I need that T-shirt. I need all that on the T-shirt. So you need that on the T-shirt. Yeah. 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 Okay. Who? 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 What is that? Become? Has that become your life now? Or is that? Toward- uh, yeah. Because I mean, it's just kind of like, I just, I don't know. I just be like, damn, what do you want? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but even if, even on like uh. Um, primary facetious mm-hmm. how I how it started it was like, like my phone was ringing and I was like oh why are you calling me because yeah. it's like bro you disturbing my peace right now I'm mm-hmm. trying to chill and be one with myself and all that shit but whatever I gotta deal with are you a texter like you prefer I to text I hate texting really? I hate texting I would, I would much rather you call me yep cause then <laughs> also you gonna hear my tone of voice you know what I mean? Like you gonna hear my sarcasm. Mm-hmm. I'm a very sarcastic person, but like I'm not an LOLer in text. Okay, you <laughs> so, don't do all that stuff. No, I just I say what it is, and then people are like, uh, are you mad? I'm like, no, I'm just not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck am I laughing about? <laughs> it's a whole nother language. Hell, you guys Yo. are corny. It's not even funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck am I laughing about? I'm telling you, I'm down the street. What I'm saying, LOL for it. We <laughs> had a whole morning topic on this because these dudes text me. T- tell it what happened. It was like a group text thing. And, and you know sometimes Sway's uh, text uh, emotion can come off the wrong way because Dry. we're we're so used to texting <laughs> all the time that he'll just be straightforward and so sometimes he'll just be like he'll say something and there's no LOL but you're so used to seeing the LOL because yeah. it takes the sting out of something right, and yeah. being like oh shit are you serious and he uses are you joking periods. <laughs> yeah he uses periods I'm not yeah. from that shit yeah, period, period is kind of like I said what I said yeah right. is that what period is I yes. mean kinda kinda but I don't use I don't use periods. But I also don't say LOL because I'm like, if I'm not laughing, right? Well, I'm like, I don't you, know. You're not gonna it fake ca- like you. It kind of feels like it's like I'm making this a little bit passive, a little bit. Let me say LOL so they know I'm not. It's like, no, I said what I said. It's cool. Who yeah. created all this stuff? It's, it's like unspoken. Right. It's just culture. Yeah. yeah, but who are we following? Who is telling us exactly. that who we are, be, right? You right? That we gotta put LOL for little us. Mean to, girls with no you, edges. I keep telling. Is you. that who it is? Yeah. But you can have a full conversation with emojis and gifts. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Like, Absolutely. I would do exchange back and back with people without using any words. Yeah. You can yeah. do emojis and give. There's a whole language out there. Mm-hmm. I think it's creative, actually. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> okay. I feel like this project, um, yeah. from Medicated to Leave Me Alone in the Air, Lash Key is a very personal story. It um, is. People really love it. Like, I've been getting a lot of people like, oh, my God, this is fire. This is so tight. And I'm like, that's what's up, because I was fucking scared. Yeah, it's about a miscarriage, mm-hmm. right? But the not just about the actual miscarriage, which is you know devastating as it is, mm-hmm. but everything that led up to it, and, and yeah, like and, that, and then also like the second verse is about uh, just me feeling like, because even though I was adopted, like I was kind of a latchkey kid. My my parents worked like mm-hmm. a lot to like provide for us, so it was like I kind of felt like I had to take care of myself a little bit sometimes, mm-hmm. and so like in the second verse, I'm pretty much talking about how I felt kind of like, oh, um, I didn't get enough attention, I didn't get enough hugs, I didn't get enough of this, that, and the third, but ultimately I'm I'm here. Like, you know, I felt overlooked, but now I'm getting booked uh-huh. for shows in different states where people dance and sing my hooks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Been harboring some feelings, but it's safe to say we good. Just know I love you deeply and you did the best you could. So it's like yeah. I can't even be mad. Like yeah. my mom put a roof over my house. So, uh-huh. I mean, over my head. That's over my house. Yeah, that's a big my, ass house. <laughs> yeah, a roof over my head. So it's like I can't even. I can't even be. Uh, I can't have this teenage angst no more. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, wow. So I like gross. this Carrie Fall. Let's play Lash Key, and we're gonna we're gonna come back, and we got something special for you, Carrie Fall. Sway in the morning. You want to talk with her? Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Listen to the lyrics. Listen to the story. Listen to the music. 
thought was going through my head when she, and that, as you were singing the songs and the lyrics, but in particular, I'm just curious, did your adopted parents, have they heard the music yet, and what has the conversation been once they hear about all the trauma you're experiencing that you may not have spoke about? Uh, well, no, nah, we, we've, we've spoken about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, about it, okay. Yeah, my, me and my parents, like, me and my mom especially, uh, we actually... Like, we actually had talked about uh, the miscarriage, like, maybe last year sometime. And she was just like, because my mom's older. Like, matter of fact, happy birthday, mama. It's your mama's birthday. It's my mama's birthday. Hey. Happy birthday, mama. Hey, what's your birthday? Cynthia. Cynthia, happy born day but, to you. But they call her Aunt Cent. Okay. So she go by Aunt Cent uh-huh. or Mama Fo. She's in Little Rock right now? Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, that was dope. But yeah, my mom's a little older. She comes from like you know a different time, so you don't really talk about your feelings and trauma and mm-hmm. all these different things. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember one day we was just like talking, and she was like, "You know, like I never really thought about how that could have made you feel. Mm-hmm. It was just kind of like a thing that I think both of us had swept under the rug, and we were just like, oh, that happened. All right, mm-hmm. we we're not gonna really talk about it. But now I feel like we're in a we're in a really good space. Like me and my mom are in a really good space where we talk." about anything and uh she has she hasn't always like been supportive of Mm -hmm. like me doing music and stuff but she came to the mick jenkins show in dallas they drove down and uh she texts me after. I don't mean to put you on blast, Ma, but she texts me after and she apologized for not uh, supporting me. Wow. And she was just saying, like, seeing those people sing your song and, like, hug you and embrace you, like, that was crazy. I mm-hmm. I, I didn't know that that's what you were doing. Uh, my mom, she's, she's religious. She's mm-hmm. very religious. So she didn't understand it, but now she understands it. Like, we're kind of doing the same thing. We're preaching a message of, like, hey. love. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Now. So, mm-hmm. that's yeah. Good. So she, that's under, she understands now. Did she understand Mick Jenkins' bars though? Cause she, cause <laughs> no, she did, it was funny because the whole time she, uh, we were watching Mick perform. She's like, I just can't understand what he's saying. And mm-hmm. then, but he has this one song where uh, he's like, I wake up thanking God for His brand new mercies. And she, so when she hears right. thanking <laughs> God, she's like, yeah. yeah, she's like, yeah, I like this. She I like turned that. up, mom. Yeah. Got yeah. lit, huh? Yeah. Got lit. yeah. So when she hear, when she hear God or Jesus, she like, yeah, I'm in it. All right, yeah. got <laughs> like you got me. <laughs> Like that. Carrie, right. I'm just I'm so proud of your personal healing. Thank you. As you continue to go through that journey and Thank being you. vocal mm-hmm. about it because it gives others permission to begin their process in healing yeah. as well. I'm wondering when you mentioned how a lot of people cannot afford therapy or just feel daunted that, that by that process, but self care has gone pop as you know, it's Instagram's favorite hashtag. Yes. What are some of your favorite um routines for your self care? Uh, my self care is uh kind of doing whatever I don't know whatever feels like it will make me feel good. So it could look like me going shopping mm-hmm. or me going to get my toes done because mm-hmm. I love to keep my, my feet done. Mm-hmm. Um, it could be just like I don't know. Like sometimes I like to go to Dave and Buster's. Like it's it's whatever that just takes my mind off of like what consumes me. The stress. Yeah. Right. Like, it's just like finding whatever is, is fun and just. Like, leaning in yeah mm-hmm. you you use a lot of live instrumentation when you produce was that live drum sounds that on, um, on latch key well so josh crocker who produced it he uh he'll like i think he plays drums uh-huh. and then he'll like put it into his pro uh his machine that he uh-huh. uses and then he'll like play it from there but okay. yeah i like to i like to use live sounds uh-huh. i love it and your in your show i have yet to see you perform live are you going to south by southwest by any chance yes yo yo we doing we broadcasting live Thursday and Friday, and all we asking people. <laughs> look, there it is, Carrie Fo. Oh, no. yeah, hey, all you gotta do is come perform two songs. Hey, and, I'm down. And turn up. You you down to do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just gave an invitation okay. in the yeah. flyer with all the Okay, we're gonna make it happen. Since you're gonna be out there, I get Kelly Kikade on it. We are gonna make it happen. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, Carrie Fo's Carrie coming Fo. to the broadcast. All right. Hey. 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 Come light out. Come light out. Let's take some phone calls. Good. That'd be dope, man. Uh, Julius is on the line uh, from Orange Jacksonville. Julius. Julius, good morning. How you doing? Oh, man, I'm good, Sway. What's up, man? Man, we got Carrie Phone here. What's up? Hey, man, I dig that last song. You know, me and my wife went through that, and, man, I've never heard a song like that, man. That was pretty cool, man. That was dope. Thank you. I appreciate it. You should get the um, project Cry for Help. It's out this Friday. Can they pre-order? Pre-order it. Um, you're gonna love her entire project, Julius. You a citizen. Sway in a. Christine is in New Hampshire. What up, Christine? Hey, what up? What up? Hey, 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 Christine. 
Hey, I just wanted to say I'm sitting here at my desk listening to the app Shade 4 5. Hello. And okay. I've already texted my 12 year old daughter, like, yo, I just found a new artist to listen to. Look her up right now, even though she's in school. <laughs> it was amazing. Your song, like, total, I like was like, oh my God, I love this song. I've already tried looking it up on Spotify. I just couldn't know the name of the first song that you played. Uh, in the air. In the air was the first. In the air was the first one, and then yeah. this one we just played latch key, and then we're gonna play leave me alone. Um, after that. Yes. All right. I just want to say, keep doing your thing. You are amazing. You have such a unique voice. Like I'm a huge, huge, huge Mary J. Blige fan. I grew up on that R and B, and I just was saying to my daughter, like. It's so nice to have this R&B stuff start coming back and it be real. It's none of that crap, you know? It was Damn. amazing. Damn, I'm shitting on everybody. But at work, she's like, she whispering and shitting yeah. on everybody. She's shit whispering right now. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that so much. I really do. I love that. That's the new shit. Yeah. Hey, and Christine. What I was going to get into today. She said, y'all crazy up here. We had an interview, Caribbean. Yeah, no, this is fun. Okay, cool. Hang out with us, Carrie. We're good, good people. Uh, uh fo follow her at Carrie Fall, K A R I F A U X. Okay, Christine. I got so many callers, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna quick question, quick answers. Shine in Arkansas. Good morning. Go ahead. Hey. Okay. All right, Sean, you there? Corey in Texas. Go ahead. Good morning, Corey. Hey, how's it going, Kay? I just want to let you know, man, you gained a new ear today. Uh, I like I like that shit that you put down, man. It's, it's real. It's some real things, you know. It's, man, what's going on, Sway? Hey, what's popping with you, Corey? For a long time, man, yeah. long time. Hey, man, that's why we fuck with you, Corey. You a citizen, man. Sway in the morning, brother. You know, we only going to bring you the real. We only going to bring you the truth. Brother. Come on, Corey. Sway in the morning. Yeah, you know what we do here. Diddy, what up? Diddy. Diddy run the city. Diddy call him. Diddy, what up? Say hello to Carrie. Diddy, you there? Take that. He's shit whispering right now. Oh, he's shit whispering. All right. Okay, hold on. Uh, Dante in Atlanta. What up, Dante? Dante. Man, what's going on, morning show, man? I love you guys. Love you but too. Carrie. Yeah. But Carrie, man, I, I can hear the influence from Wiz and Currency's own projects. I, I tell you, I just love the sound. And I might, and I'm definitely going to get your new project because I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you, Dante. You're a citizen. Sway in the morning. Matt oh, is yeah. in upstate New York. Go ahead. Okay, Carrie Foe is here. She hitting the whole country Yo, off. what's up, man? Hey, uh, I just want to let everybody know, uh, if you are thinking about having an abortion, uh, use adoption as an option. I always think it's the best way. Uh, and as far as Carrie, you never know unless you try. I think you should go meet your parents. I did. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. I was adopted. So, oh, I mean, I, 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 met, I, met, I met one of my parents. Yeah, not her dad. I okay. met one of my parents. Yeah. Okay. Matt, thank you for that, man. Make sure you get her project, okay? Sure. All right? Hey, man, you the truth. You the truth, too. Oh, Carrie, that's for you. I'm sorry. You the truth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. I'm so used to it. No, I'm just joking. Oh, uh, uh, Bri Byron in <laughs> Arkansas. Go ahead, Byron. <laughs> Hey, congratulations, Miss Carrie, and hello to Sway and uh, Heather B and everybody in the studio. Everybody. I just want to say, uh, hey, once, once a hog, always a hog. So always you know, a hog. That woo pig suit, baby. Woo Let's pig suet. Hey, Sway, just yeah. so you know, just so you know, Arkansas is a natural state, and you can come to Arkansas and get any type of fish you want and have the best fish you want. In, in the great state of Arkansas, I promise you In the you that. great state of Arkansas. Let me, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> Honestly, I watch the pro fishing tournaments on TV. Used to be on Versus. Sometimes ESPN do, does it. My cousin Aaron Coleman uh, was a pro fisherman. Uh, we grew up all fishing, but I, I, hip hop, hip hop, carry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hip hop. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, so I couldn't stay out there, but I still. <laughs> Fishing wasn't paying, you know, so I, uh, you know, so I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love this story. If I could catch a fish, you ain't getting nothing for it. But now you can, you can win a couple hundred thousand in these tournaments now. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can make a living off of it. Um, Byron, you're a citizen. Sway in the morning. And they got largemouth bass. They got huge largemouth bass in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. uh, you got big catfish, Big too. catfish, huge too. Huge catfish. Yeah. Catfish wow. the size of buses. The size of a bus. The size of a bus. Huh? Damn, do you eat catfish? No, I don't. Okay, neither do I. Liz from LA, go ahead. Liz, what I up? I good catfish. Yo, Karen, I got to jump on this conference call, but I love you so much. I'm friends with Dimples, and I think we met at the L Ray years ago, but when I got oh, in the car 
and sang her name. I was like, oh, my God, I love this girl. I never go into the radio, but I had to. Thank you. Thank That's you. I appreciate it so much. Liz, thank you. You're a citizen. Sway in the morning. Hey, Carrie, before you go, something we like to do with first-time guests, we call it the mystery sack. Go ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Mystery sack on Shade 45. Gotta break you in, Carrie. Come on. Sway, Sway. Screaming. All right, you're gonna stick your hand into Sway's sack three times. Go easy. Pull out a question one at a time. No pun intended. You have to read it out loud, and you gotta answer well, I got honestly. Two, I That's two. No, it's no. just one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, good luck, Carrie. If you had to change your rap name and the only options were the names of vegetables, which veggie would you name yourself and why? You can't pick Casey. Huh? Casey Veggie. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sway. Um. Damn, this is hard. Yeah, this is a real question, too, Carrie. I would be... Carrie Broccoli. Carrie Broccoli. Ooh, I like that. That's fire. You know, then you can, you can perform at the Broccoli, broccoli Fest. Fest. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You know, it's already there. Yeah. Oh, I get that. Carrie Broccoli. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you know, I yeah. like it. <laughs> Carrie Broccoli. I like Broccoli, though. Really Number do. two. What's your DJ? Violet Waters? Is that your DJ? That's that, my DJ D- name. That's your DJ name is Violet Waters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Carrie Broccoli. Mm-hmm. Carrie Broccoli. What is that, Carrie? If you woke up a white woman, who would it be and why? Damn, Carrie. It is awful. Um, uh, who is my favorite white woman? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Like I said, I love Debbie Harry from Blondie. From Blondie, yeah. okay. I would, I would be yeah. that, man. She just cool. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. so cool. Five, five, Freddie, 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 Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> Rapping early. Rapping early That's at Rapture. She was a whack rapper, but she was in there. <laughs> she did it. She was in the pocket. Yeah. She was in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> she did write the pocket. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, If you had to live life of any cartoon character, who would it be and why? Um... Probably SpongeBob. I love SpongeBob. I was going to so say much. SpongeBob. I love SpongeBob. Yes. Like, I feel like he... For our generation, he is like everything. Yeah, yeah SpongeBob, Patrick. You you could have picked Patrick. Nah, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Because <laughs> he was just so carefree. <laughs> he, no. didn't, yeah. he didn't care about anything. SpongeBob nope. had a good time, man. He did. I grew up. Well, I didn't grow up watching Sponge. Two shows. My daughter, when she was a kid, I watched SpongeBob because when she was three or four, that's all that could keep her attention. Mm-hmm. And she used to sit me on the couch and force me to watch it. And then she grew out of it, and I never grew out of it. Yeah, yeah, because the, it's it's crazy because like me and my best friend, he's over there somewhere. Uh, we were talking about how we communicate, like like everything is a SpongeBob reference. Mm-hmm. So like me and him will just be like making all these references, and people won't know what we're talking about, but it's always SpongeBob. SpongeBob Code, <laughs> mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. So you could talk about people in SpongeBob Code, and they'll never know. Well, not even like that. We'll just like say something, and it's like everybody else will be like, "What are they talking about?" But it's it's from SpongeBob. Give me so a terminology like, that you use. Like Wombo. Wombo, wow. He was like, he, she, we, he already Wombo. Started laughing. <laughs> Wombo, the, the study of Wombo, Wombology. Wow. <laughs> He just, but no, these are not SpongeBob enthusiasts nah, right here. You got to speak in Beavis to me. <laughs> you got to speak in Beavis to mm-hmm. you? Okay, all right. What about you, Tracy? <laughs> Hmm. What do you gotta speak? Maybe in? Daria. Daria? Oh, mm-hmm. I love, I love. You gotta, Daria. you gotta speak in Flintstones to me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jetson terminology, J- Jetson <laughs> jargon Jetsons. for me. Conan the Barbarian. All right. Anyway, Carrie oh. Foe, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Carrie, can you come back? Yeah. Sometime when you come to come hang out with us. We're gonna see you next week. Yeah. Oh shit. All right, she'll be performing that's can right. Can I pick can I pick which day I come? Because I think I'm free on the 14th. I, I, is that Thursday? Thursday? Is yeah. that Thursday? It's a morning yeah. broadcast. It's a morning, broadcast. Morning. It's a morning yeah. broadcast. I have a whole free day, so Okay, oh, let's yeah. do it. It's a morning broadcast. I'm here. Let's do it's it. Morning. Okay, Kelly KK, <laughs> you hear this? <laughs> Carrie Foe. I want to see you there. Okay, Carrie Foe, she's been added to the bill next Woo! Thursday in our Kelly! live broadcast. Kelly! South by Southwest. Media. If people want to reach you on social media, how can they reach you? You can reach me everything K A R I F A U X. 
And the new project this Friday, Cry for Help, trust me, is something you want to pick up. We want to thank our guests for coming by today, the one and only Emerald Lagasse. Um, make sure you check them out at this Carnival Cruise Ship Mardi Gras 2020 experience. And we're gonna do a, we're gonna do we're gonna take the cruise too. We're taking the cruise and doing a broadcast on the cruise. It's gonna be amazing, like a whole Mardi Gras themed cruise with Emerald Lagasse. It's gonna be. Yeah. Gonna I've been be. on a cruise before. It was so tight. Was it? They played they played the cha cha slide like every hour on the yeah. like yeah. yeah. And I was like, and every time I heard it, I did it. You and did it the whole time. Yeah, I love the cha cha slide. You didn't get bored being on the cruise. <laughs> nah, yeah. just play the cha cha slide you, every day, and I'm fine. You good right there. <laughs> yeah. cool. We'll play it next week. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna I'm do it. You gonna do it? Okay, that's what's up, Mike News. How can they reach you? Yo, citizen, hit me up at I am Mike Muse, M U S N Z M E on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget, tonight at 6 p.m. on the Mike Muse Show, Inside Channel 121. Tune in for a new show. OQ, how can they reach you, homie? You can reach me on Instagram at OQ Shoots. Tomorrow we got a big show. We got D.O. Hooley stopping by. Hey. Amada La Negra from Love and Hip Hop. Who called La Negra? No, that's, that's her, her name. name. Amada. La... See, I messed it up. I was trying to say Spanish. Amada La Negra. Yeah. But aren't you Puerto Rican? Yeah, I'm half Puerto Rican. Okay. Yeah. You don't speak no Spanish, though. No, no speaky no, no. Spanish. La Negra. <laughs> yeah. right, so, uh, how can they reach you, DJ Wonder? At DJ Wonder everywhere tonight, 10 o'clock, right here on Shade 45, Animal Status. Check it out. Reach me everywhere at it's really DB. Instagram, Tracy G here, at it's Tracy G, I-T-S-T-R-A-C-Y. G, I'm at the happy hour, W-H-B. I'm at Real Sway. <laughs> you can see, if you want to hear back any of these interviews for today, you can go to SiriusXM.com forward slash... On demand. And then we'll be posted on SwaysUniverse.com in the next day or so. You can also see it on the YouTube channel, Sways Universe. Make sure you check out Carrie uh, for yourselves and see how wonderful this young lady is. And make sure you pick up her project. I'm at Real Sway. Until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. It's all love. Okay. We have nothing left to say.